Hey, Potato Nation. Um, where are we at? Water pump. Water pump. Inside here, um, I'll show a picture of that. The bolt inside. Um, in the center with an Allen wrench, needs to have Loctite. And the reason for that is, is when your motor's moving around, it doesn't uh, back out into the impeller impeller which is in here that spins so your bolts for your water pump don't forget to put your bracket on while you're putting the bolt on before you torque them down you're going to put permatex gasket permatex and you're going to uh torque it at 30 pounds so do not put too much permatex on this on that back part of the head because here in the next picture in here uh that hole will fill up with permatex and it'll plug water going in in and out your block so i i just took a barbecue skewer pick and cleaned out the blue in those two little holes down there So when you put your uh, pump on, it's four bolts on the pump. Uh, torque it down to 30, and that's pretty good. The, this, These also were 30, by the way. That's the uh, cover. And it says in the book that uh, 30 pounds if it's an aluminum cover and 42 if it's a steel. This is steel. But I find it odd that the housing itself is aluminum. So why would I want to do a higher torque on aluminum? I mean, like, I put them, even though it says to do it at 42, I did it at the aluminum plate cover, 30 pounds, because I don't want to strip out, I mean, that's aluminum. I don't want to strip out those uh, bolt holes. And even if they're talking about that plate, uh, Say it say it's because the aluminum flexes and the and the steel doesn't. Maybe that's why. But that plate is straight as can be. When you're putting the plate on, the uh injector has a spring on it and it presses against the plate. Uh, 30 pounds is plenty on that. So you know, they say they it depends on what it's for. Like for instance, the uh uh I don't know. That one's that's 120 on that goes on the crank, but man, 120 is a lot. I mean, I think 100 when you're when you're torquing 100 is to me it feels weird. It feels like you're putting too much pressure. Physically, it feels like you're putting too much pressure on it. But I mean, right when you feel like, oh my god, is it going to break? Is it going to break? It, my torque click click. You know, it says it's at 100 pounds. So I put it at 100 pounds. It says 120. I did 100. It says 40 on this. It says 42. I did 30. And then all the other ones, you know, I, I did 30 on these. I, I were 30, 30-ish. 30 you know what I mean? These I just did hand tight. You know, the bracket hand tight. These. You see what I'm pointing? Hand tight. I didn't, you know, I did on the thermostat that was just spin. did you get sick <laughs> excuse me on the thermostat it's your thermostat permatex gasket permatex and then i did 30 boom boom shaka waka waka boom so these also get you know, 30 pounds, but I also put lock washers on them. I, I, I didn't, that's why I didn't, when I did the injector assembly, I didn't torque them down because I wanted washers, a lock washer and a nut, because I know that if you, if this pump rotates at all, it'll turn off the, it'll turn, not turn off. It'll, it'll throw the, the timing out of alignment. So I, I want to make sure it doesn't move. And then they also say that 
this bolt back here. You need a special wrench that's kind of curved to get back to it. No, you don't. I just used a, I mean, modern technology and all, <laughs> not 1900 and, okay. I'm truly having technical difficulties. So, you know, that with the articulate and, you know, I, I managed with that pretty, you know, pretty good. You know, it wasn't super easy. It was, uh, it was a little difficult, but it, it worked, you know, same as, and I know this is going to be, I'm going to say this and the world's going to go, oh, that's not correct. And I know the inside of the impeller, the one I told you that, that needs Loctite. Which I shoot, showed a picture. Here's another picture. That's an Allen. This is a star. I know the difference. You know, I'm not a, I, I, I don't drill into a bucket. I, I know the difference. But I'm also, you know, I'm getting older my age. And I know what works and I know it doesn't work. And I have all the tools in the world in a tool trailer outside. But you know what? Today's raining. I don't want to go outside the tool trailer. So what I did was, is I did a star instead of an Allen. And, uh, you know, whatever. It works. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's me getting lazy. I wouldn't do it all the time. Whatever. I just didn't want to go out in the rain. Uh, wah. Me being baby. So we're almost done here. It's getting there. Um, you know, the belt, you know, that's how I tell. Like, it's, oh, that's good. It was just a, a pry paddle and a, you know, that's how it felt good to me. And then we're down to the nitty gritty. I'm, we're down to like, uh, I need to flip this motor over. I still haven't at this point. You might laugh at this. I already told you that it's uh, you know, the pistons were 50 pounds and the crank bolts were 100. I still haven't done that yet. I mean, I told you to do it. I told you when you should do it. But, uh, you know, at the time I didn't want to because uh, whatever. I got to flip the motor over. I got to torque them down. I can't put on the back timing cover. That's in the road. So I, I have to do a little bit of craziness. I, I need to get my lift in, flip it over. Because now, since I put the head on, it's it's way too heavy to be... It's way too top heavy to be moving it around on the stand. So I need to get a lift in. I need to, you know, a couple things. Wait, wait. Get my timing cover and uh, oil pan... And I will show you that, and that'll probably be the last video, other than we're going to start the sucker up and run it. I got some minor crap. I got to figure out what I'm going to do here. I'm probably just going to cap it and then beat that down into it because I don't need a speedo. I don't need to know how fast I'm going to backo. I do need to know the hours, though, but I'm not going to spend 100 and some change on that just to know how, how many hours on this machine, whatever. So there we go. I don't know if that one was exciting or not, but it's starting to look like something. Thanks.